Well, we've got some new resources in our store here at Vision, and the author of those resources is with us in the studio, Jane Barclay. Good morning. Thank you for having me here today. So oh, good to have you pleasure. here. And we've just been flicking through, I and mean, you've got two books and some cards, um, like a you know, resource card. This is brilliant quality. Like I'm saying, like the uh, particularly the, the big, thick book, like it's a, a really solid, substantial resource. It's not just like a little booklet that we're talking about. No, it has some um, 488 pages. Yeah. Wow. It has, it has 58 messages. And um, it's actually a lifelong guide to um, a message that inspired me to write it, a mm -hmm. Bible verse, um, Mark 12, which is love the Lord your God with all your heart and mm. with all your soul and all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. So mm -hmm. it's it's biblically inspired with over 400 Bible verses and um, it has a counseling focus. So I've, I've really written the book. I've integrated my studies mm -hmm. of studying the Bible, counseling and psychology. So wow. I've combined them all into one book. That's amazing. Yeah. So tell us a bit, a bit more about yourself because obviously, so you are a counselor, is that right? Yeah, I'm a counselor. So tell us a bit yeah. more, like what, what's your background and, and your history? Well, what inspired me to become a counsellor is because I had um, anxiety and depression as a young girl. And um, when I went through menopause around my mid-40s, I had a, a big health scare where um, my anxiety and depression increased about tenfold. Oh, wow. And I was in a continual state of crisis. So oh. that's where Essence of a Beautiful You was born. It was a very important part of my healing. Wow. And um, yeah. So, so, and the name of the book, this big book that we're talking about, the 488 page book, Essence of a Beautiful You. That's right. I, I, I'm not, I don't want to make it sound like I'm trying to, uh, you know, you know, uh, give it a backhanded compliment, but it looks like the perfect book that I would see advertised for ladies, for women. Absolutely. And it's obviously that's what you're going for. I am going for. The book is focused on women. Mm -hmm. um, it's got beautiful imagery throughout. Yeah. And um, it the, the heading, Essence of a Beautiful You, it really goes into God sees our beauty, mm. our, our inside beauty, and our inside beauty makes our outside beauty mm. Project. Exactly. Yeah. Yep, that's so right. So it's not the other way around that, that the world would have us believe that we're beautiful by our hair or what we wear yes. or, you know, how much, um, how lovely our skin is or. How much Photoshop and you've put on that. How picture. much, yeah, how much right. Photoshop <laughs> exactly. and, and looking at our weaknesses. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's our inner beauty, you know, our, our patience, kindness to others laying down our life for others like like Christ did for mm. us that's such a yeah. that's such a great paradigm shift because mm. so many of my friends so many of my lady friends or my wife's friends really struggle with self-worth where their place is in the world do am I doing the right thing that I'm supposed to be doing mm. all this pressure that the world puts on them that's right and uh, you know it looks like you're speaking exactly into their hearts absolutely and it's very hard to um, it's very hard to come away from that that worldly expectation of what the world wants us to be yeah um, but I've, I'm actually quite a solitary type person so <laughs> I actually don't let the world um, infiltrate me too much. Mm. I'm. I love studying the Bible. I, I love God with all my heart and soul, and um, I've written all the these books for Him. Actually, mm. I believe God actually wrote these books, mm. and not me. They were all very spirit led, and my passion is to, yeah, bring some relief to women out there with with those struggles. Yeah, mm. and and help them to see that they are beautiful, and God sees them beautiful it doesn't matter what they look like or what their weaknesses are god can work through our weaknesses and that's where his power is revealed yes. so Amen. so it doesn't matter you know does that does that solitary type of you know you know the passion you have for being out yes. there by yourself does that come from growing up in south australia in the bush i've read a little bit about your upbringing there yeah. is, is that is that is it that... actually it started there god, <laughs> god god had his hand on me there yeah. i was the youngest of four children wow. and i was quite a bit younger than the, my third sibling. Yes. So you know the the youngest child is always a bit of a pain to the older <laughs> to the older brothers and sisters. So I actually spent a lot of time on my own. Wow. Um, 
you know, running, chasing rabbits through pine forests and just being really adventurous. Yes. And God, I can see God had his hand on me there. I grew up in a non-Christian family Mm. and, um, yeah, I felt myself drawn to scripture union camps when I went on holidays with my family. Awesome. I'm the only, only Christian in the family. Wow. And I just look back and I can just see how God had his hand on me all the way through, even though it's been a bit, a bit of a hard journey. Yeah. Um, yeah, God's been with me and, um, yeah, these books have... So, so that so that bush upbringing, yeah, is that, that is that where your could have your new line of books. So you've yeah. got a new, a new line of uh, books for kids. These beautiful big picture books here. Yeah, and and have I got it right? This is the first one in a this series. This is the first one of six. Okay, yeah. wow. and it's the Aussie Bush, bush Olympics. Olympics. Okay, that's so right. <laughs> tell us a little bit about this. Okay, it's um. The book is set in the Australian bush and the characters are native Australian animals, koalas, echidnas, kangaroos, wallabies, etc. And um, it has a, it's aimed at children three to seven years. So it's really good for parents to read to their children, but it's also very good for children to learn how to read. Mm. Um, And yeah, it has a great moral message Mm. it's got a great twist with a great moral message of forgiveness and understanding we're all good at quite different things so and to appreciate the uniqueness that god has blessed us with because you know if we had all the same gifts how would we meet each other's needs so um it's to find out what your spirit what your gifts are and and use them to help others in need Mm. And, and not for your own glory. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. And so you've got this, um, obviously this book particularly has been illustrated um, and it's just gorgeous. Like I, I just love the, the colours and obviously all the, you know, the Aussie animals that are in there. So how do you know Jess? Because Jess is the illustrator for this book. Yeah. How, what's that connection? Oh, look, um, yeah, I just came along. I was living up the coast and Jess lives up the coast. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I just found her in my circles and, um, yeah, she was happy to illustrate my first book. That's great. And the second book is being illustrated at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all the books are being, have have already been written and the second one is being illustrated at the moment. Right. Yeah. Same illustrator or different illustrators? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Okay. But it will be exactly the same. It will be the same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, She's actually been training me up to do it. So. So, um, wow, okay. yeah, so I'm quite creative, you know, as yeah. you know, I, I love creativity. So, um, <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll keep an eye for that one. So that's, is the, the whole series around the uh, Olympics or what, what's the, the, the thread that sort of ties the six books together? Okay. Well, the thread that ties the six books together is really learning lessons on how to love. Mm-hmm. With the same characters with the going same, to, With yes. the same characters. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So the characters grow up. They have their little, you know, issues. Yeah. and That's so good. And, yeah, so Brilliant. that's lovely. Well, and these are all, as mentioned, these books are all available at the store. So you can get uh, the Aussie Bush Olympics right now. Beautiful book for kids. So you said like three to seven-year-olds is sort of what seven. that's targeted at. Essence of a Beautiful You is amazing. Now, of course, we've got Mother's Day coming up uh, in the next month or just over a month. But... Um, I think that would be a fantastic book for Mother's Day, Essence of a Beautiful You. It's only $45. And I say only because... It's huge. Honestly, it's massive. It's <laughs> yeah. a huge book. Yeah. And it's a really, really a top quality resource. So $45 from the store. And then you've also got these little uh, devotional cards. Yeah. So this this card set that you've got, the Heart of God cards, it's not like a playing deck of cards. It's no. a set of beautiful cards, cards. almost like collector cards. That's and right. And a small book with it yes. that I could see. Looking through this, this is the type of thing, if you've got a heart for evangelism yes. or you might have some people in your life that are seeking the truth and you know, might be looking at that way. Yeah. This looks like something that you could give them. Absolutely. It pretty much explains Christianity from every angle you can think of. Wow. So wow. it grabs everyone's heart and everyone is going to be able to relate to it in some way or another. Mm. So yeah. a little bit of a step-by-step devotional that leads people Absolutely. towards God. Absolutely. I love it. That's love exactly it. right. And this resource is available in our bookstore that's as well. It. Yep, that's available as well. So how many cards are in, like, I'm wondering, is it like one a day or something? Like, how Well, does... there's, there's 52 cards. There is, okay, so one a week. They have a biblical focus also with a counselling focus. And um, there's 52 cards, one, one a week yep. or one a day. Or it's great just to slip in a card to give someone encouragement. Okay. Excellent. 
That is so good. Yeah. So yeah, all these resources available from the store. So just click shop when you go to vision.org.au. You'll see them there. Just you could search Jane Barclay and you'll be able to see the resources. But Jane, really appreciate are you sharing a bit of your heart? And I, I reckon just hearing a bit of your story, I wonder whether Eric's going to want to have a chat to you as well. And you know, we can uh, flesh mm-hmm. out a bit of that, uh, the story you've been through, because it sounds like quite a journey. But uh, God's obviously got you in a good place and uh, you know, providing some wonderful resources for us here. So well, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Robbo. 